All right, boys, today is the day, and it is here. You've been waiting for this festival. I know so many people are so hyped. It's unbelievable. Everybody can't wait to summon for my yellow. I'm just kidding. Uh, today, we're going to talk about it. Liz Festival is here. Hope you guys are ready for it. 6 7 update preview maintenance notice. Let's have some fun. Like and subscribe. Let's jump into it. <laughs> First off, again, before uh, the update drops, remember we're like 24 hours away. Remember that. Again, best of luck to everybody summoning. I know there's a lot of people that are, you know, really, really hyped for this festival. I really wish you the best of luck, and I hope all of you can pop off and get some outstanding, outstanding summons. Trust me now, 6 6 Liz, first multi. It's going to happen somehow. You got this. Don't worry. You got it. With that out of the way, let's jump into it again. So everything here is going to be um, dropping tomorrow. It's going to happen that way. We have our beautiful animation that Global's been doing recently for Liz looking really really nice our new content will be chapter 23 main quests and side stages have been added you will get to experience the entire thing and this is a really really fun chapter um so go jump into it and go enjoy it it's a really cool one so that is the w here we have our new attribute finally which is light it is finally here rich global um the attribute effect for this is pretty simple Setting a light attribute hero on the team decreases allies damage taken by 10% to characters with attributes that are weak against your allies. Decrease light allies damage taken from enemies of any other attribute by 10%. Light attribute effect does not stack. Pretty simple stuff with that. The light attribute does not have an attribute leverage with the previously featured attributes. The light attribute can participate in any hell difficulty death matches. Um, or is it after acquiring a light hero for the first time? you will receive a light festival hero coin onwards. That's how it's gonna go. So again, brand new coin, as I've been mentioning, it will be called the light festival coin. That is how it's gonna go. Same with dark Meliodas. That is a dark festival coin. To get those, you have to pull dark festival units, light festival units. They do not transfer between each other, right? One's a light, one's a dark. They're two separate coins. That is how it works and that's how it goes. Here the light essence grimoires, um, or light essence and grimoires, seven light essence items will be added to the knighthood shop. Light grimoires will be used for light attribute heroes evolution slash limit break. Strength slash HP grimoires can be exchanged at king, so go ahead and go to king, um, and then exchange to get those, which is pretty simple. And guess what? New effect, resurrection, that's there, we don't care about that. Pain and suffering, yes, global, it has arrived. Pure, literal, this is the embodiment of pain and suffering. Level 100 has arrived and it will be wonderful. It will be a wonderful grind for all of you. New players, get scared, get ready. This is gonna be fun. Um, so with this entire thing, remember um, the mats that were promised, right? Those 33 mats, those 125, those will not drop until a week after, not even a week after, like 10 days after the start of the festival. So keep that in mind also. Um, but with this, there is a lot and a lot of grinding required. These are the mats, they kind of put it here, what you need um, in order to do everything. And again, it's 45. 45 Belmont cores, 30 of these, um, from 90 to 100, right? So it's gonna be 75 of those, and then 125 of the Blue Flame. And about per stage, you get like 12 to 15, or something like that, around there, right? So it will take you a lot of stages just to get one character up there. Trust me, this is a grind. Have fun, it is torturous. Oh my God, and again, remember, each of these are three SSR pendants, I believe, right? Three or six. I don't wanna mess that up. I, I forgot, actually, wait. It's either one of those. So just remember, it's a lot of SSR pendants that you're going to be pouring into this and doing. We have the new original demon, which 95 and 100 are open. The top row will be Belmoth. The bottom row will be for the original demon. Do not mess that up. Just go jump in, do your bottom three, They're done. Then go do Belmoth. Pretty simple. Just do that. And it's pretty easy. Yeah. We also have this episodes to unlock. So in order to uh, to unlock this, you have to beat um, episode 204 and 222. Uh, two, two, two. I think it's the same ones as before, so nothing you know special there. We have new achievements over here. We have a new artifact card set bonus, which is this one. Um, it does grant you, it increases the goddess alley's damage dealt to enemies by 10% in PvP. So a pretty simple card set here. New holy relic, and remember Gother is really broken. Broken, broken for the uh, Liz team. So if you are building this relic, you know, start now, start grinding, increases the allies attack related stats by 25% for two turns when the hero's ultimate move gauge is completely filled. It's not a half bad relic, it really isn't. So that is there. We have Liz's amazing, outstanding costume. This was really, really sick. So again, I know people are gonna buy this right away. Go in, uh, go ahead and have fun. But if you're waiting, it, it'll cost you, uh, we're gonna, for gems, right? It'll be two weeks. So you have two weeks till you can buy that. Uh, for gems and again if it you know if you want to buy it right now they'll cost you money that's the entire point next we have coin shop yes coin shop's gonna get the uh, the festival heroes so you can trade for every single festival hero excluding excluding Deanne she won't be here Fez Meliodas he won't be here every other character is in the coin shop for you to go entertain obviously Liz is not here um the old one is not the new one that's basic common knowledge 
But again, this is what the shop is looking like. So you guys want to go and trade for that, you can. We also have uh, this, which is just a guide to check all Grand Cross uh, events at once. So it's a guide in game. You also have, yes, Margaret Ludocil is your login character. And I believe also for this anniversary, you get Liz as your login character. It's like, like for a limited time. Um, we have Painter Deanne's costume that's in now the Hawk Pass. So jump into that. Scottish is also there. I think Sauriel's leaves now. So just go check that out. We also have these items as the new ones. Two new emotes. If you haven't already picked them up, pick them up. This is a really cool one. Um, and again, that's what it looks like uh, for the Hawk Pass. This is the Hawk Pass rewards. As usual, basic stuff. We have the bundles, the beautiful things that most people don't pick up. But if you want them, you're more than welcome to. We have the deer bundle also here. If you want to go and craft, um, I think each purchase is one relic. I think that's how it goes. So again, you can go and do that. We have a skip button that's being added. So again, if you're too lazy to watch everything, or if you're, you know, last second rushing your uh, dailies, that has been added for you. They also improved deathmatch um, for the AI search to be a little bit easier. Um, we have the updated, now updated um, deathmatch rewards, which would be four per run. So it's a little bit easier now to obtain, you know, mats. But, you know, it'll still, it'll still be, you know, bad because you need pendants, not just mats. Moving up, we have balance changes. Again, they removed the pass where they fixed the thing for, um, what is it, um, the deer. Makes it really, really easy now in comparison to what it was before. Still, it's going to be possible, but it's less impossible. I was only trying to say here. We also have this. You have now tra uh, trade six. I was right. Six for one, which means to make it to the level 100, it's 12. So I just want to mess that up earlier. But it is 12. That's a lot. See, in my head, I'm like, oh, damn, that's a lot. It was a lot, see? I didn't want to say it properly because it's a lot. Damn. We have another Hawk giveaway event, so you get another copy of Hawk. Next week, you also get another copy of Hawk, so that's how that's going to go. Um, we have a battle event. We have all of this stuff over here, the check-in event, the special mission, reward Solgris. We have spin event, blessing of goddess. We have, again, they didn't put any of these events here. What the hell? Usually, they like, list the events we're getting like in image format. I'm guessing they'll save all that for tomorrow because they usually like list it and then show what the images are, but no. Um, we have boosting events. We have one step um, evolution event, which is the free um, level 90, the furniture decoration event, lucky bag event, check in hero, uh, reward hero event. Where's the 300 gems though? Uh, where is it? Where is it? It, sh it shouldn't say like literally. That's like their biggest selling point. Where's the 300 gems? Um, just control F300, I guess. 300 uh gems diamonds is that it what am i looking for here bro i spelled diamonds wrong come now diamonds it's only two three uses of diamonds and okay they didn't talk about the 300 gems i thought that was in this update i wonder um i'm guessing they're there still just they didn't mention it in here yeah 300 gems are coming calm down they're still coming literally it shows like the, the gem log in here kind of but it doesn't say you're getting diamonds but okay yeah that's the entire update not bad that's everything. Again, all these events are ending, so make sure you go jump into them. Finish all of the special disaster stuff. If you care about the mono banner, take a look into that. Other than that, it's going, and that's all you have to know here. We also still didn't get dev notes, which is an L, but other than that, 6-7 update. A lot happening, a lot going on. Make sure you are ready for this banner. It is going to be a blast, and it's going to be a big festival. I know a lot of people are on the edge about summoning. Again, I'll kind of update you later on on what to do. With that being said, thank you for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy. Catch you guys in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. And best of luck to everyone summoning on the you know, Liz banner. I hope you all pop off and have some outstanding, outstanding summons. Good luck.